Hey gang, welcome on a Wednesday morning that, as it has been for the past several days, going to be hot. So once again, if you have things that you thought you were going to be doing outside, after about 1 o'clock this afternoon, I wouldn't do anything outside. So stay inside where it is nice and it's cool. I'm going to do two things this morning. We're going to talk just for a couple of minutes about our September calendar. Now, you'll be getting this uh, in the, the newsletter that I think has just been uh, mailed out and will be shortly uh, online and on our website and everything else. So you'll be able to, uh, to read. But I want to talk to you a little bit just about the month of September. September is going to be a fun and a great month here at Christ Lutheran Church. Now, September is always a time of excitement. It used to be, for me, the excitement of, of, of football games. And, and I've, I've shared a story before that in my first call, my office uh, in the Parsonage was about two blocks away from the football field. And every time that, uh, that I'd start working, I'd usually start Friday afternoon on a sermon. And if things went really well, I'd hopefully be done by midnight a little later. Sometimes I'd still be up at 8 o'clock Saturday morning having worked all night going through it. But it was always so much fun because during football season, I'd have the window open. And as soon as I started hearing the announcer um, giving some of the starting lineups, I'd just put everything down and I'd grab my jacket and I'd walk two blocks and I'd go to the football game and then I'd come back and get to work on my sermon a little bit more. Some of that stuff has changed now with COVID. But we are going to have an exciting September. And I just want to talk to you a little bit about September. The first Sunday in September is Sunday, September 6th. It will be an outdoor worship service. It'll be Labor Day weekend, so I'm not really sure what, you know, what people's plans are. But I want to uh, invite that, especially if you have not been to one of our outdoor worship services before. Come on down. This would be a great one to come down for. You bring your lawn chair, you, you drive over in your golf cart, or you uh, drive up in your vehicle. But uh, it'll be an opportunity for you to, uh, to get a feel for our outdoor worship services, especially if you haven't been to one. And you want to get a feel for it because the following Sunday, Sunday, September 13th, is Rally Day Sunday. That is going to be an incredible worship service. We're going to do it outdoors. Uh, we're going to be blessed, I hope, with beautiful, beautiful fall weather. We are going to have a presentation of Bibles for the three-year-olds and the third graders. We're going to have a blessing of the backpack. So on that Sunday, make sure you bring your backpacks with from school, and we'll do a special blessing of those. We're going to have a special uh, Children's Sermon is just going to be a fun day because afterwards we're going to do our rally day activities. We're going to have games and everything else going on outside. So please come and join us for that. That's going to be a great time. That's on the 13th of September. Now, something for, uh, for you seniors especially. At 4 o'clock on that same Sunday, Rally Sunday, which is the 13th of September, at 4 o'clock there will be a special senior worship service in church in the sanctuary. This is going to be a worship service that is going to be geared towards seniors who maybe have just not felt comfortable yet um, coming together. Um, we are going to uh, ask that everyone wear masks. We are going to uh, require the social distancing. It'll be a worship service, maybe 30 or 40 minutes total. Um, this will be a first opportunity for you to receive Holy Communion. Please come and, and be a part of that. And that's going to be on the afternoon of September 13th at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, a special senior worship service here inside the sanctuary. The next Sunday is going to be a great Sunday for every one of us because Sunday the 20th at 9 a.m., we are going to be worshiping in the sanctuary. We want to go back into the sanctuary. We need to go back into the sanctuary. We're going to use all the precautions that we can so that it's going to be safe. I would invite everyone to especially read 
the, uh, the article in our newsletter that talks about some things that you need to know about when we come back inside the sanctuary. It's going to be filled with some very, very important information about masks, social distancing, um, cleanliness, hand sanitizers, all of those things, some special uh, uh, words about the individuals who will need to usher us in and usher us out and things like that. Um, I do uh, uh, tell you that if you do come at the last minute, you will probably be escorted up to the front row. So uh, please stagger the times that you come because we're going to need to have both uh, um, both uh, entering in and, and ushering out uh, because we're going to be having to put you in special places. It's just going to be a great Sunday to be back in God's house. Uh, as I've said before, it just doesn't seem the same. But once we get back there again, it's going to be great. And that's going to be on the 20th. And then on the 27th, uh, because now we'll be all pros, we'll know what to do when we come in. We will once again have worship in the sanctuary. Um, Sunday school will begin as well. And then at 6 p.m. on Sunday evening, the 27th, is going to be the first of three opportunities to take a virtual travel tour of the Holy Land. Um, we can walk in the land where Jesus walked, and we'll do it virtually. That's the big catchphrase now. Everybody's doing everything virtually from uh, from marathons to everything else. And so we will do our own virtual Holy Land tour. And that's going to be at 6 p.m. on Sunday, the 27th. And that will be in the Fellowship Hall. And that's going to be great because you're going to be able to come there on Sunday evening and see our new television set, which I think you are going to think it is incredible. In fact, there's a fly right here who wants to get in on this too. So if you see him coming around every now and then, um, he's been in here all morning. So. <laughs> he wants to know Jesus, I know. <laughs> so that's a little bit about that. Uh, I'm going to do one thing. I don't think we have to turn anything off or anything like that. But I am going to put my mask on. And I am yet not sure if this mask should go with the white collar up or with the white collar down. Um, I kind of look at it that I can use it both ways. And so uh, so I'm going to just wear this mask for a little bit. And as I was thinking about it, I think one of the great reasons why people wear masks, and maybe one of the reasons why I love Halloween, so much is that you have that opportunity to put on a mask. You have that opportunity to maybe not really uh, show someone how you feel, right? You know, one of the great things uh, um, when I come in to a store with a mask on, um, I will uh, smile at, uh, at people and they won't know that I'm smiling. Like I'm smiling right now at you and you probably don't know that I'm smiling or now I'm frowning at you, and you probably don't know that I'm frowning at you either. It's one of these things that can help hide who we are and what we feel. One of the things that, uh, that I'm reminded of every day is that uh, we can't hide from God. God knows who we are. God can see us for what we are through any kind of mask. God knows us and God wants us to know him. Um, just something to think about today. Um, folks, stay cool today, okay? Just stay cool. And if you're starting to get hot, um, open up the, uh, the door to your freezer and stick your head in there for a few seconds, all right? That works. Okay. God bless. Take care.